Hi, it's me, Dr. Lee, and thank you for joining me. We're talking about the prophetic. I'm calling this one Oracles of Hope. Oracles of Hope. In discussing the prophetic, I would like to discuss Oracles of Hope. Prophets can be used by God any way he chooses. But I would like to point out that God can use a prophet to give a person, a group, and or a nation hope. Some message, messages of hope can include, but not limit to, but can include that God cares. Jesus is a good shepherd. He is able to bring back the strayed. He is able to heal the sick. He is able to strengthen the weak. And if you had any kind of manifestation of God or just read God's word, I mean, it's many examples in this word where God sends a prophet, gives a message to an individual or to a nation to give them hope. And so let's say for you, let's say this, let's say that you're going through something. Let's say your child has like, uh, what here? I had that number two, your child, no, this is number three. Your child has strayed and your child may be on drugs, maybe going through something. Maybe your child saying, I don't believe in God. I don't believe in Jesus. You know, whatever it is that your child may have said and you're praying. You're praying for that individual. You're praying for that son or that daughter. For them to find their way home. For them to come back. For them to go back to their roots. What you taught them. What you showed them. Or that you want them to, you know saying, to, to have a better life. That, that you know that Jesus Christ is the answer. And you've been praying. And you know a lot of times it's, it's, how can I say, it's easy to lose hope when we don't see a manifestation fast and we've been praying about something like okay lord it's been 10 years it's been five years it's been 20 years i've been praying for my child and i you know he's still on the streets he or she's still out there you know running those streets and and you may be just about to you know say okay i just don't know what to do i'm doing all i can do lord um, do you hear my prayers am i doing something wrong and god sends a prophetic word your way and that message could be somebody that you know somebody that you don't know and it could be someone that's a known prophet like in um the biblical days someone like okay this person here i know this person's a a uh, prophet of god and this person here whatever that this person says you know i'm gonna take it to god and i know that god gonna reveal what this person said is not to be true and a lot of time through discernment we can pick that up but let's say the, the person um comes to you and tell you that you know what that God's been hearing your prayers and that your your son that he will say he'll be off drugs and he's gonna be a a um mighty man of God. He's gonna have his own flaw, he's gonna be have his own congregation, he's gonna be preaching. And they may go down to like, oh, and he's at, he's going to, what I saw him, I saw him preaching at a make up something. I saw him at a, a Baptist church or a holiness church or I saw him doing tent revival. And you're like, okay, that person has no idea I've been praying, praying that. And no one knows I've, that I've been praying that. But God can send you a message of hope. And I just want to share some, um, just came to, um, to me. I don't think I didn't share this, but maybe I did. But, um, I had, uh, not long ago, I had a dream about this person and the person basically had this some business um business idea well when i contacted the person i told them about the dream basically they were like yeah you know that's something that's been in the back of their mind well the person who i hadn't talked to them haven't seen them in many years definitely hadn't talked to them in probably a year or two but you know we we know each other in a you know saying we know each other so with that sometimes god can give a person hope because something that you're praying about no one else may know but with that god can use someone that may be a prophet or it could be somebody who's just you know like myself that god likes to use sometimes to 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 get a message out or give a word so i mean god 
he can use any vessel that he chooses. But like some people are like, say, okay, I am a prophet and this is what God, this is what God, that's what he does in my um, life. And I speak, and when I speak, I speak what thus says the Lord. So that's, you know, how some people roll. And that's, that's an awesome thing if, you know, God is using you like that. But sometimes, you know, you just may be a vessel and God is speaking through you to give someone hope. So you never know when God is going to give you as a prophet a message a hope it may not mean anything to you like i said about the dream that i had about the person like i almost did not make a whole lot of sense to me but it made a whole lot of sense to the person so sometimes that would happen and and if you like I said, if you're prophetic and you had these experiences before you know god has all kind of ways to to uh to do it and to check you like okay you thinking it's nothing and it's right on time for the person so with that you can be used as uh, and send a message of hope and if you're not a prophet and you're just a vessel of the lord god can use you too he can send you a message to whoever it may just be somebody that you get a message for that that and some that day and you tell them you know walk up to them and say hey you know um god sees you sees what car and you're going to get um that new car and you're like they're like a new car okay okay me get a new car i don't even have a car i'm riding the bus right now walk i'm catching rides but it's a message of hope and so with that know that that is very important in the prophetic um some people all they do is give you know no messages of um i can say of hope which is supposed to be hope but sometimes you know it's i shouldn't say hope but it's it's a message that didn't come from god and they're calling it a message of hope and maybe they're trying to encourage I'm a person that's good. You should encourage people. But sometimes people be saying, no, this does said the Lord. You're saying does the Lord. I mean, God said this, you know, and God said this and God has said anything to them. So, but with that, you have, you have that. But whenever we're going through something, God has a way to get us a message individually or as a, a nation, as, you know, a group, maybe as a family. So messages, um, a hope or a hope are wonderful, wonderful. Okay, know that God knows how to give a message that is perfect for the person, group, or nation that is it is intended for. First Peter 4 and 11, this is from the NKJV. It says, if anyone speaks, let him speak as the oracles of God, the mouthpiece of God. If anyone minister, let him do it as with the ability which God supplies that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ to whom belong the glory and the dominion forever and ever amen read it again first Peter 4 and 11 in KJV if anyone speaks let him speak as the oracles of God if anyone ministers let him do it as with the ability which God supplies that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom belong the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. So, if you're going to speak, and you say you're a prophet of God, make sure what you're speaking comes from the Lord. Because it speak as the oracles of God. Be his mouthpiece. I have down here. Be the voice of God. Don't be speaking for yourself. Out of your own heart. And you will find that a lot these days. So just be careful and grow in the things of God. Grow in um with the prophet and ask the Holy Spirit to help you and to guide you and and God will teach you he would she would if that's your gift in you so that your prophetic God would teach you like no man could ever teach you he would use his Holy Spirit to teach you and it's like just it's a wonderful experience anything that God teaches you is a wonderful experience and then you have your Bible there that you can read and you may can look at some other people lives you can read the Bible look at their lives or and see how God uses people and maybe some of the things they went through are high ever but i'm going to pray father i come to you stand on first peter 4 and 11 in your words if anyone speaks let him speak as the oracles of god 
If anyone ministers, let him do it as with the ability which God supplies, that all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom belong the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Father, you're an awesome God. And just thank you for giving us your word, your holy word to, to look at, to read, to put in our spirit, to study, and to grow on. So Father, may the things that I do, may the things that I do in my life daily, the things that I do on my YouTube videos, may they glorify you. And may they point people to your son, Jesus Christ. Father, you're an awesome guy. May I continue to grow in the things in the prophetic and be a help to you and be the greatest, bestest pointer that I can be to point people to you and to your son, to the Holy Spirit, Father. Thank you. I love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And so with that, just know that oracles of hope is important it's nothing like hope and sometimes like i said when we in going through whatever in some situation and god uses someone or something to to speak hope to speak life to give us encouragement so it's very important in the prophetic if you came across this video and you do not have a relationship with jesus christ all you have to do is repent of your sins and accept jesus christ as your lord and savior and if you have a relationship all you have to do is continue to grow it, grow it, grow it, grow it. Be the brightest light you can be. Read your Bible, walk in obedience, and pray. And all this will help you in this prophetic arena. And you will continue to grow even if you do not call yourself a prophet. The Holy Spirit will teach you. Again, read your Bible, walk in obedience, and pray, pray, pray. Talk to God as much as you can. Be the brightest light that you can be. I'm Dr. Lee. Thanks for watching. Let go, let God in, keep it moving. Take care.